This is an experiment to look at the effect of surface area on the rate of a chemical reaction. The reaction that we are looking at is the reaction between calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid, which produces carbon dioxide gas. The hydrochloric acid and the calcium carbonate will be mixed, and because the gas escapes, the mass will decrease. So we will measure the mass loss against time. The first experiment will use marble chips, which have been weighed out 20 grams with relatively large marble chips. They will be placed onto the balance. 40 cm cubed of dilute hydrochloric acid of 2.0 moles per cubic decimeter concentration, the same throughout the experiment, is used and is also placed upon the balance. Cotton wool is used to stop any liquid escaping from the conical flask as opposed to the gas. Once everything is on, we press the zero and we are ready to go. Your job will be to take a, re a recording at 30 seconds and at 15 seconds um, thereafter. So the recordings will be at 30 seconds, 45, 60, 75, 90 and so on until a total of four minutes has elapsed. So this is large marble chips. Just check that it's at zero. Halfway through the addition. And of course place everything back onto the balance, but also put the cotton wool into the top.
OK, we stop recording at this point. The next experiment is identical, except for this time we're going to use marble chips which are a little smaller, so their surface area is bigger. However, it's still 20 grams, which will be placed onto there, and also, again, 40 cm cubed of the 2.0 mole per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid. The same again, that some cotton wool is placed on the top, and once more, we zero at this point. Your job again is to take a, uh, a recording at 30 seconds and every 15 seconds thereafter of the mass loss. Let's check that it's absolutely at zero. It is. So halfway through the addition. Put everything back on, including the cotton wool into the top.
So again, we'll stop it there. The third experiment uses marble chips which are the smallest and therefore have the largest surface area. So as before, there's 20 grams that has been weighed out. And again, 40 cm cubed with a 2.0 mole per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid is added and some cotton wool is also placed. It is then zeroed. Again, we will use the stopwatch to start and you need to record at 30 seconds and at 15 seconds thereafter. Check it is zeroed. Halfway through the addition. Once you have recorded your results in a, in, in a table, in NEAT, you're then expected to plot a graph. The graph will have time in seconds on the x-axis. And will have mass loss in grams on the y-axis. You will draw three lines on the same graph paper. When you have drawn the three lines, I would like you to take a tangent at t equals zero and measure its gradient. This will give you the initial rate of reaction. The initial rate of reaction will be measured in grams, that's mass loss, per second, and it will be worked out by finding that gradient. You will then have three rates of reaction, initial rates of reaction, one for large marble chips with a small surface area, medium marble chips with a medium surface area, and small marble chips which have the largest surface area. One more result to go. And then you can get on with drawing up the table and analysing the results.